Hello everyone, and welcome to Dynamics 365 Portals Tips from Engineered Code. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 32, Customer Self-Service Portal Overview. The Customer Self-Service Portal offers some of the features that are common to the other portals, including discussion forums, knowledge base, and help desk. The help desk functionality extends the traditional Dynamics 365 customer service experience to your portal, specifically around the case entity. Users can submit new cases, view and update open cases, and mark them as resolved. The case deflection is something worth mentioning. This search functionality exists both on the support homepage, as well as when a user is entering a title for a new case, and shows relevant content from the portal, including knowledge articles, discussion forums, and web pages. The goal here is to encourage the user to leverage existing resources before creating a new support case. The knowledge base exposes the knowledge article entity available in Dynamics 365. It's important to note that this is different than the legacy knowledge base articles and the knowledge base associated with Parature. Knowledge articles are available via the search functionality or can be viewed by category on the knowledge base homepage. You can also allow users to rate the knowledge articles and you can restrict access to articles based on content access levels. The forum functionality allows users to have an online discussion. You can have multiple forums, each having multiple threads within them. Each thread is made up of multiple posts, which can be moderated by an administrator if desired. While the customer self-service portal shares much of the functionality with the employee self-service portal, there is one key difference, and that is authentication. The customer self-service portal supports a wide variety of authentication mechanisms, including local authentication and various external identity providers. Whereas the employee self-service portal only supports Azure Active Directory. Also, the customer self-service portal exposes much of the content on the portal, such as discussion forums and knowledge base, to anonymous users, whereas the employee self-service portal requires authentication to see this content. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Dynamics 365 Portals tip number 32 from Engineered Code on the Customer Self-Service Portal useful.